It's live from last week, episode 24. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Earlier today, the fiance treated me to some Beyond Meat Burger. And if you guys haven't tried this, I suggest you try it now. I mean, this burger and fries option that I had earlier, just like the name, had no meat in it. And is a great vegetarian slash vegan option if that's the kind of diet that you have. But anyways, it had similar taste to meat, it had similar texture to meat, and it satisfied me as if I had a meat burger. So yeah, it's very comparable, even though it's a little bit more expensive, but it's a good alternative. If you haven't noticed, I've taken the bike out for a spin today, because the weather is just so beautiful. And it's nice to see people outside exercising and using the facilities that the City of Toronto has provided for us. And as I'm enjoying the sunset tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for the first day of June. First, I have a happy birthday greeting to Errol. Happy birthday, Errol. I'm remembering meeting you for the first time years ago, playing indoor volleyball and helping you sub for your team. And I'm also appreciating the fact that you're helping build up the volleyball community here in Toronto. Anyways, Errol, I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope you have a happy birthday. Next on the birthday list, I have a happy birthday greeting to Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. She's another local beach volleyball player that I've played pickup volleyball with last summer. And playing against her has always been a great challenge for me. Anyway, Sonia, I hope you have a happy birthday. Hope you're doing well out there. And this summer, I hope to play with you on the beach volleyball courts again. And now my next birthday greeting is for an elementary school friend of mine, Brian. Happy birthday, Brian. I remember going to Good Shepherd with you and having classes with you in the basement of a church near Monsignor Clary, as well as you being one of the funniest people that I've ever met in grade eight, as well as seeing last year that you had a cameo greeting from Matt Hardy himself. Now I admit, I'm no Matt Hardy, but I'm still wishing you a happy birthday greeting from afar. Hope you're doing well, and happy birthday, Brian. And last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting for my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Even though the pandemic has shortened our time together, hopefully when the stay at home order is done, we can celebrate your birthday properly. Anyways, mom, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe at home and happy birthday kisses from your son. So today is June 2, the end of the stay at home order in Ontario. Just chilling with my bike and look where I am. We are back at the beaches, guys. Oh man, did I ever miss this place. But the thing is, I'm here before my first of my two night shifts tonight, and I'm meeting up a friend because he's giving away a brand new pair of volleyball pants for free. And then afterwards, I'm heading back home, take a little rest, and going in for my night shift. So let's find out where he is. Hey, Vinny, what's up? Darren. What's up, man? Woo! Brand new pants! <laughs> Can't wait to try these on. And as you can tell, I'm not actually wearing any pants. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So time to try these on, put them on, and go back home before I go in for my night shift. Big shout out and thank you to Danny Mac for sponsoring my beach volleyball pants this year. I'll definitely come and bring them to the beach in late June when I come down to play you again. So y'all remember this scene from last week's episode? We went to TD to move around some money to make a big Facebook marketplace purchase. But unfortunately, you'll have to wait until next week to find out what it is that I bought. And I'm hoping that you guys remember this little test drive. Well, I just want to let you guys know that I'm on my way to Surface, Ontario to get that little surprise registered and ready for the road. All right, got my papers and time to put the sticker on the license plate. Wait till the insurance rolls out tomorrow. And I guess I'll be out tomorrow with my brand new used car. It's been a whirlwind over the last 30 days and exactly one month since I made this decision. Well, guess who's the newest member of the Mini Cooper Club? Woo! 
What an amazing half birthday present that is. But yeah, the fiance and I decided to split the cost for this new mini. And as part of our agreement, I pay for 70% of the total purchase of the car, the taxes, registration, and gas. While she'll pay for 30% of the car and 100% of the car insurance. She also snuck in this disclaimer. On request, I have to be her G1 co-pilot whenever she asks. And if there's any highway driving, I have to be her personal chauffeur. So after two night shifts and this much sleep because I was too excited to drive today, it's time to put on my fresh new license plate sticker, be her chauffeur, and go on a mini road trip to Barry. So after a fun and exciting experience driving the Mini yesterday, and since the weather is amazing today, with a nice little special shout out to my new chinillas that I'm gonna wear for the first time today. I just feel like going out and driving once again. And I also wanna see if I can take some drone videos. So yeah, it's time to take the Mini out and go for another road trip up north. So after a long day of driving and droning up north, I've got a couple of birthday greetings for you today. First, want to wish a happy birthday to Miriam. Happy birthday, Miriam. I remember having several classes with you back when I was at school at Ryerson. Haven't seen you in a while, but at this time, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I hope you have a happy birthday, Miriam. Next, I have a birthday greeting for Brittany. Happy birthday, Britt. I'm remembering the time that you traveled up from Michigan to do a modeling gig here up in Toronto. And me and my cousins were the bodyguards for you while you were doing the award ceremony for a basketball tournament up here. Anyways, Britt, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. I don't know if you guys noticed, but last night, I recorded from a new location. And that's because I decided to do a one-night stay up in Muskoka in order to get up and do some early morning drone videos. But this is how it went. Good morning. Beautiful sunrise. It's 6.15 in the morning. So beautiful here. Just FYI. Mm. Too many mosquitoes are also early risers. Mm. So I can't go droning quite yet. Maybe in a bit. But whatever. And even though it was raining a little bit, which hindered me from making drone videos this morning, once the clouds stopped showering, I was able to make some videos again. And after another long road trip from Gravenhurst, I am finally back home in order to do some birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Kay. Happy birthday, Kay. Kay, 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 Kay. I wanted to tell you I loved your Oscar caliber acting for Faye and Justin's engagement video, as well as your early morning yoga classes back in Jamaica. Anyways, Kay, I hope you're doing well, staying healthy, and I hope you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for a longtime friend of mine, G. Happy birthday, G. I'm remembering all the memories that we have from our runs and races together to our numerous hangouts, and to our travels to the States and in Japan. I want you to know that we're dearly missing you while you're studying in Scotland, 
But I hope you're doing well over there. I'm also hoping that you have a happy birthday and I can't wait till you're back so we can celebrate properly once again. So since it's my last off day today and it's the end of the stay at home order, I decided to take the mini out again and surprise my mom for a belated birthday celebration. So yeah, once again, just wanted to wish you a happy belated birthday, mom. After a long weekend of driving, going from Scarborough to Barrie to Huntsville, back to Scarborough, times two, and today going from Scarborough to Oshawa to Mississauga, and now back to Scarborough, I have a little story about how I ended up with my Mini. So basically, I bought the first Mini Cooper after a long stretch of four night shifts that I was overstressed about, and used the purchase as a coping mechanism and I lost a couple of grand on that investment after that car needed more repairs than initially thought. Made the most about the situation by teaching the fiance how to drive standard, trusting her more as a driver, as well as increasing the confidence and trust in my own driving skills. So then I sold that Mini in order to afford a down payment on a new car, went around the GTA driving several different Minis knowing that I really enjoyed the Mini driving experience, told my dad that there was a seller for a Mini that I was really interested in, so then I got scolded by my dad for wanting to meet up at a sketchy location in order to buy a car despite my inexperience and stubbornness by buying that first mini car. Then I took a test drive with this mini and as soon as I felt it, I knew it was the one. And so up until Friday, I made numerous bank runs, emptying our bank accounts and finally paying off a lien and acquired the paperwork in order to get this mini registered. And as per the agreement in buying the mini, I have to give a shout out and a review to the previous owners. The first shout out goes out to Dustin. This person was a very personable and honest guy to talk to, had experience with previous car sales, had great communication and answered all my questions whenever I had some. And the second shout out goes out to Abigail. Honestly, from the moment I met her, her energy and enthusiasm made me want to buy the Mini right there on the spot. She was amazingly passionate about her car very knowledgeable and willing to find every single cool feature about the car in order to sell it. Anyways, this power couple that I bought this Mini from, it was one of the most pleasurable experiences that I've had on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm giving you guys a 5 out of 5 star review. And the thing is, I only hope to live up to the amount of love and care that this couple had for this car. From the bottom of my heart, thanks again to Dustin and Abby. And so now, it seems like we've come up to the end of the episode. So if you enjoyed what you were watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.